Everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Wanted to go over the next frontier, as I call it for HFT, kernel bypass. What does this mean, basically? Let's put this up. We are covering the multi-threading concurrency and uh, parallelization in C++ for Linux. Now, I just wanted to highlight something here that's very important. As uh, one of the other big job descriptions is uh, the uh, kernel bypass. I want to show you what that means. So here's a job for C++ somewhere in Chicago. It's one of the bigger um, SJ, um, Selby Jennings, one of the bigger recruiters. So they want to just have shell Python, all that easy stuff. Obviously these are important. Algos, data structure optimization, network protocols, network programming, high speed, experience in parallel concurrent multi-thread programming that's what tbb and the standard threads uh, threading gives you high performance low latency knowledge so on and so forth these are the protocols that you need fist facts uh low latency blah 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 but there's also um the kernel bypass which i just want to show you so here you got to have a really good knowledge of the kernel, Linux kernel, uh, system programming, and kernel bypass. So let's let me lead into that. So that's this job. NJF, another one, uh, and you will notice that kernel bypass is really important. Lock-free programming, dealing with uh, deadlocks, performance tools, bell grind, catch grind, TCP dump. Okay, so that's another HFT shop looking for jobs. Now, here is a more detail. What is the technology stack behind an HFT firm? Um, they talk about the types of uh, networking cards, uh, 10G in 2011. Uh, I've shown the 1G as well, uh, 10 microsecond improvement over a 1G. Uh, receive market data uh, typically via UDP or, or uh, UDP we've shown that in my YouTube channel um, let me show you what video I'm referring to So I did a video on socket programming about a month ago. Let me just do a search on my channel here. So that's what we're dealing with is socket programming. Demo of sockets for .NET. Um, working demo of basic CPP socket programming right here. That's what I'm referring to because we did both UDP and TCP in that. So we've done that. Uh, okay, so we've done all that. Lowest latency possible, physical cross connect, blah, 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 blah. So the practicals is all more hardware. So we recommend all these different um, boards, port to port latency, blade network, the switches, um, the cards, the networking cards, solar flare, uh, UDP, UDP. Um, there's also a client, custom Linux, Gen 2. Okay, then we get into platform logic code, which was done in C, lock free. So we're going to demonstrate that in another video. Uh, first in, first out, ring buffers. 50 nanoseconds, wire to wire, and uh, the cost of 5K to 15K for the switch, with 5K for the server. Okay, there's that. Um, here's another article. Kernel tuning. Uh, I heard manufacturers like SolarFair produce kernel bypass network cards anyway. Kernel tuning is the way to go to make non-real-time OS real-time as possible. 
I'm going to show you a solution in a minute. Uh, I'm just showing you how important this kernel bypass is. It's pretty well, if you want to go HFT, it's what you need to do. 10G cards, so that's the trend we're seeing. Uh, traditional Unix. Okay, TCP is typically fine-tuned. Okay, enough of that. Okay, so uh, another job, FPGA smart knit cards. I believe here's a list, but here's, here's where it gets interesting, which leads me into where I want to go. Okay, so I'm going to show you NetMap, which is an uh, API. Not exactly same league, but more simplified. Um, saturate 10 G card bandwidth. No figures on the latency though, but there is, and I could show you that. Netmap is is available in free BSD. Kernel bypass movement started in the early 90s. Blah 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 blah. Okay. So that led me to believe that uh, this new way of doing things is um, basically this article I started out with. It's open here. Yeah. So new kernel bypass. So. Uh, there was a comparison with with the um, atomics, which I'll show you in another video using the C++ standard threading library. Uh, the performance is pretty impressive, actually. Uh, Cloudflare, this little guy right here, is another network card. Um, I thought Cloudflare and Solarflare were the same. I don't know if I don't doesn't look like they are. Um, here's. Cloudflare uh, using using the net map right here. Net map, which I'm about to show you, uh, gives you the ability to, that is built into the uh, network cards from Solarflare. Sorry, Cloudflare, and uh, might be used for uh, the other end. So here's some blurbage on that. Okay, um, so with that in mind, let's talk about this net map in detail. Okay, so here's this net map. As hinted, it's part of the open uh, the free BSD. Um, now, my question is, if you install free BSD, which is a Unix, not Linux, um, OS, so you install it with the bare bones. Uh, and then install NetMap on top of it, uh, you should be able to enhance your speed of the um, OS quite quickly. So you're stripping out a lot of crap that you don't need. So all this stuff is here and here, available in this new Frontier Kernel Bypass. I'm showing you some jobs that listed. Um, this may be one of the easier ways to do it. But apparently there's another... Um, paper here. Let me just take a look at this. Uh, if you haven't read the Lockwood Etal, oh, this is using FPGA. So, I don't know. I just wanted to get some people's opinion on this net. Uh, this uh, net, uh, it's called net map. If anyone knows of it, let me know. I'd be interested to hear what your thoughts are and if it's worthy to pursue. Because um, I do think FreeBSD is the OS of choice to deploy onto high-speed uh, training systems on. There's no argument on that. Not on Linux, because it's just no different than Windows. It brings all that extra uh, services and stuff that you don't really need. Okay, let me know what you think, and I will talk to you later.